So when you're traveling around in your van and you have all your possessions and your worldly goods inside your van, it obviously makes it vulnerable to theft. Um, there's two parts of this. One is people breaking into your van, nicking your stuff. And the other is obviously someone stealing your entire van, which does happen. Um, this video will show you a bunch of different security features that you can incorporate in your van conversion to help you reduce the chances of losing all your stuff getting broken into in the first place or having your entire van stolen and if it is stolen helping you recover it with the police so i have a little bit of extra security um some uh, mild steel it's actually it's actually pipe um and there's two of these um one goes on the bottom and one that goes on the top the reason why I did this was because for me there's there's three weak points on the van um, one of them being the window and um, yeah it's, I mean there's money in my van and it took me a lot of time and effort so the added security for me was it's quite important so I it was just an, an added extra that I did at the end and it, I, for me, my theory is you don't really need to make your van that that secure. You just need to make it more secure than the other guys. So they're breaking into my van. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Here you can see I've put in a hook. It is an 8mm screw, so no way you can rip this hook out. I do have the same hook on the opposite side, on the other door. So whenever you close the door, For the night or when we're leaving the van, I will take a chain and put them in between the hooks. I'll put one here. There is the other hook, so I'll put the other side of the chain inside this hook. So after I've hooked both sides of the chain, I can tighten it here. And if I feel it's still too loose, I'll just flip that the seat to the front which will tighten the chain so this way you cannot open the front doors even if you manage to somehow fiddle with the locks after i've locked the chains inside i come out and close the sliding door and then i can lock this up so this way all doors are secured you can actually hardly break in so whenever i've locked the front doors i've locked the chain together I can also lock this door from the inside. I do have a hole here. I can hook, put the carabiner through. And this way, the slide of the door is blocked. So even if you manage to open the lock down there, you cannot open the door because the slider is locked. On back there, here are our normal doors, which are normally closed up with the curtain. So here you can see we have another two hooks, which are open loop, not closed loop. So we can put in this uh, metal plate between the two hooks. And this way, these doors are locked together. You cannot open them. Even if you open the lock on the downside, you try to open the doors, they are locked. It's not possible to open the back doors. So whenever I've locked these doors, I've locked the front both doors, then I exit on the slide door, and then I lock the slide door to the front door. And that way the whole van is locked up securely. Under each of the bench seats, you can see AR Portaloo is here, but this is one of the best things we had installed. It basically, it's a secure safe. So um, laptops, drones, cameras, cash, passports, anything like that is secured in here. The box itself is welded to the chassis of the van. And then once that is shut, you need the key to open it. So, so long as you haven't put the keys in there, anything you put in is pretty much thief proof, um, which makes me a lot happier when leaving stuff uh, in the van. So one of the things I really, really wanted was the ability to get from the back part of the van into the cab area, yeah? Uh, there have actually been couple of times when I've been in the van and someone's actually been trying to break in and it freaked me the hell out. Um, so I just wanted, you know, really super easy access into the front. 
um, so that if that happened, I could escape. The other cool thing about this is, as well as it being an open area, I also wanted to have some sort of secrecy and privacy as well. So I've got this really nifty uh, little curtain that comes all the way back down. And honestly, when this is down, there's, there's no light from inside that gets out. It is completely uh, dark. And if anybody was looking from the outside in, if the chair was swiveled around the normal way, like no one would be able to see back either. They'd think it was just like a, a partition wall, essentially. Up here, we do have a motion sensor light, LED light for outside, which will uh, start monitor monitoring motion when it gets dark. And so if somebody comes up to your door, immediately this will light up and you can see him or he can see that he's not in the dark anymore. So it's good for security. We do have these lamps on both sides of the front doors. What is that, John? So <laughs> this is a, this is my London triangle clamp. Um, I actually, I actually, I don't really tend to use it in Spain. I feel more safe in Spain. But when I was in England, I was part of a Facebook group, and constantly vans were being stolen left, right, and centre. So I bought a huge deterrent. It goes on the back wheel, and it hasn't been stolen yet. So with the alarm system, we went all out. We got the most expensive unit, which has GPS on it. It does take a SIM card and it has motion sensors and uh, shake sensor, shock sensors to it. So whenever you come up to the van, you push it like that, it will start the alarm. Or whenever something moves inside the van, even though the alarm is on, it will also trip off the alarm because it had the motion sensor inside and also whenever the alarm is going off within seconds i will have a message on my phone which will tell me that the alarm went off and if i got the message i can also send a message to the system and it will send me back the gps coordinates so from all around the world i can check where's my van here I do have a, a, a small door for the diesel fill-up point so nobody can steal our diesel because with this door you can only open the inlet when this door is open. So you open this door, then you get off this nut and now you can open your main fill point and start putting fuel in. One time already people uh, pumped diesel from our van when we were camping somewhere while we were sleeping inside. So it was a concern to me. That's why I did this small door. So I have a little extra security system because I didn't really trust the one the van already has. So I just put some extra security on all the doors. And um, well, what I do is I lock all the doors from the inside. We're going to show you that a little later. And then this is the door I come out with and I just drilled in a hole through the um, through this thing here and just put like this uh, this lock on here and then you can't really open up the door. It's a really easy system, just drill in a hole, get the lock and it's just a little extra security. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on, on the other doors, like on the front doors, I install like two angles like on the on the door here and inside of the car and then I just have these matching bolts so if I lock the car and I'm still inside I can put these through here and so they can't really be open anymore I mean I know if you smash in the window you can always get in but it's a little extra security Okay, I also have like a steering wheel lock, so to prevent the van from actually being stolen. So then you can just really easily unlock it. Put it on this. Lock it again. And I didn't actually bought it specifically for the transit, so I guess you can use it for a whole bunch of other vans too. 
so the other little bit of extra security that I have is for me I found on these fans not just these fans but most fans uh, the weak points of the doors um, it's very easy to just pop the lock so for me I was always worried that someone would be able to pop the lock and get in the van so I added a bit of just it's really simple security it's basically a chain that goes all the way through the van into the front of the van and it's wrapped around the seat um, which is padlocked and then just before I, I leave I place that with the pin and I shut the door and then I pull the chain tight and I lock it so even if you pop the locks from the outside you still physically won't be able to open the side door. I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell, uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics, and part lists, which will make your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in a van conversion. So that's for water systems, for your electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. I really believe that anyone, regardless of experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and um, we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects that feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.